Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. For this week's reading, I will be working with tarot once again. And uh, then for one card, like I'll be drawing cards mainly from tarot and then I will draw one card using the Ask Your Guides Oracle cards. All right? So with that, let's get started. As always, these messages may or may not resonate with you, but my intention is that uh, there is a message for everyone and anyone who's watching this okay we already have two cards that just fell out okay so four cards please two more cards okay we have uh, four cards here they just flew out okay um and i love when that happens actually we have five cards so i'm going to just keep whatever uh and as it has come out because i trust that that is what needs to come through so the first card that comes is the ten of wands and i did have uh this card in one of my previous readings so what i'm getting with this card is you know i feel like when i look at this card i feel like you have this feeling like you're climbing a mountain <laughs> okay you're climbing a mountain and there is this there's this burden on you there's this burden on you and i feel this this has to do with responsibility like it could be anything money factors responsibilities things that you have to do family things that's what i'm getting family money factors career and it's like you're struggling, you're struggling, you're struggling. And it, sometimes it feels like there's no end to the struggle and you have to keep going. But what I like about this card is it's a 10, okay? So whatever this is, you've reached the completion of it. And for some of you who are listening to this, like you very, you worked very hard to reach a certain point, okay? And it required a lot of blood and sweat to reach wherever it is you want to go and I think this is this has to do with your career and you put all your focus into it and you're rebuilding yourself and you're working hard on yourself and you're pushing your way forward that's what I'm getting with this you're pushing your way forward but this is a 10 so you've reached a completion of something now what I like is the next card that we have that follows it is the wheel okay this is again a 10 so this these two cards tell me that one cycle of your life or one chapter of your life is complete okay whatever it was that you were doing here however it was that you were struggling i feel it's like it's coming to an end these are all cards of completions now the wheel when i look at the wheel and i like the fact that the wheel is upright so this tells me that if you've had you know a period of challenges or difficulties now things are going to shift for you for the better okay and this is uh when i look at this card it's like destiny it's like certain things you're destined to do or to be in a certain place okay so when i look at these cards together yes you have gone through the struggles yes things were not easy for you whether it was family or finances or whatever it was you struggle with that but now destiny is in your favor okay this destiny is in your favor things are going to shift for you so that's what i'm getting with these two cards now the third card we have is the eight of cups so this card also tells me that you are leaving something behind. Maybe what I'm getting with this is you're leaving something behind for something better. Okay, look at all these cups. So maybe this was a way of your life or you're leaving behind. There was a lot of joy here. That's what I can say. There was a lot of joy here, but look at this. It's like... It's like a, you're reaching a bigger cup. You're leaving all these small cups behind. So whatever you're leaving behind, trust that you're moving in the right direction because it's like destiny, okay? That's your destiny. You're destined to move in that direction, whatever it is that you're leaving behind. Now, this could be a lot of things. This could be friendships, okay? That gave you joy at one point in time, but they don't serve you anymore. This could be also a job that kind of gave you that satisfaction, but now you know that the time has come to move on. This could be relocation. It depends on your situation and scenario. So it's going to be different for each person, okay? 
but whatever this is i do feel like you had your emotions invested in something but you're leaving that behind for something better and with the wheel in this as the central figure between these two cards i feel like whatever wherever you're moving is actually the right choice even if you you're moving forward with a heavy heart know that this is the right choice now the next card that follows it is the nine of coins okay and i love this card because you know it shows to me it shows that she is content this this woman in this image okay she has a bird she has all these pentacles so you know whatever you have you worked hard for it you are content with whatever you have that's what i feel and you're in a good space you're grateful for whatever you have okay you may be aiming for more things you have dreams and aspirations but at the same time it's like you are happy and contented where you are and you are yet building a better future for yourself okay now for those who this is if this is a relationship reading for you then i would say whatever the past situations were there were burdens in that okay there was a lot of burden in that you were actually it, it's almost like you were doing all the work in this situation and you're like you know you know you're like i know i deserve something better and you are leaving all this for something better and you're happy where you are and you're working on yourself and you're building yourself up okay and the wheel in your card is also saying that yes this this was your destiny to leave everything behind to complete those karmic cycles with those people with those situations and move in a new direction the new direction that you are moving into is much is so much gratifying than wherever you were so i really you know for me these two are the focal cards the focal points the wheel as well as the nine of coins which tells me that you know you're really moving in the, in a good direction no matter what is going on emotionally or you know whatever challenges you face in the past is going to be a thing of the past and this is the fifth card that that wanted to come out is the magician and i love the magician when the magician comes okay the, first of all this is a major arcana secondly this card is saying that you have the power to manifest whatever it is you want in your life so wherever you are right now in your life don't take that space as you know don't get caught in that illusion that okay if for example if you don't have enough money don't get in caught in that illusion that this is going to be my life no you can change it with these two cards you have the power to change it look at this guy he's manifesting through his thoughts he has that power he has that you know he knows that with his thoughts he can manifest any reality he wants and that's what the cards are telling you let the past be whatever happened happened whatever you know those were learning lessons with the wheel year those were your um whatever your soul contracts your karmic lessons whatever you may call it with those people with those situations but you're done now okay you're completing those cycles now and you're moving forward you're moving forward you're leaving a lot of beliefs and things behind and you're going to a good space you're moving in a very good space where you are truly content with yourself. I feel like no matter what you have, you're content. You are focused on the future, but you are content with the present. And I love that. I love when I see that, okay? And one more card from the Ask Your Guides. What is that that needs to come through? Okay. So we have devotion okay nature spirits now what i'm getting with this card is to spend time in nature and for those you know where the weather is getting nicer it's a good time to spend uh, to step outside in nature spend time in nature and you know you're focused on your goals and all and it's wonderful but do spend time you know sit by the sun or sit by the lake or just go uh, spend time you know go hug a tree or something because you need you need to clear your energy there's a lot going on for you and things are shifting but you also need to spend time in solitude is what i'm feeling with this card i also feel like you need to meditate so that your guides can give you clear guidance okay if there's a lot going on for you you need to detach from it and take time out for yourself um, with this card, I'm also getting self-care and nurturing, okay? 
self-care and nurturing and i also feel with this card like whatever you give out you will also receive i don't know i got that message somehow it's it may be for someone and the number here is 44 like i love this number to me the number 44 is again like a master number so i feel you're headed towards your life purpose you're headed towards the right path do focus on yourself give yourself the break that you deserve you don't have to be like a machine you don't have to keep going all the time okay spend time in nature do things that you feel are right for your soul and spirit so i'm going to leave you with that hope you guys enjoyed this reading i will see you next week thank you so much for watching